um, have shifted gears uh, as the game went on? What contributed to the defense playing better? Um, I think just overall as a whole, as an entire defense, just, you know, um, first game, you know, first game jitters. That's, I mean, and I think just, you know, we had a, we kind of had a slow start, but after that, you know, we came in the locker room, talked as a defense saying we need to, you know, first game jitters are out. We're ready to go. We need to lock in. And, and, you know, I feel like as, as the game went on, we definitely locked in, you know, was able to get some, some stops and, and prevent the offense from scoring for sure. Penny Steve Trone from the San Francisco Chronicle. It's one thing when you're going into a game against your former team, hey, everything's going to be fine, and we've got respect. When you got on the field, sometimes it's a little different. How was it for you today, and how was it for your former teammates to go against you? Oh, it was great. Um, it was super fun to, to go against those guys. Um, nothing but respect for, for the UC Davis program, and, you know, I'm, I'm forever indebted to them for, you know, for what they did for me. So, you know, there's, I don't say there's any negatives, and it, it was a... Uh, it was a positive experience. Lorenzo Reno with the Bear Territory on 24 7 Sports. Question for both of you. I mean, I know that you guys haven't um, always been uh, playing with each other, but after today, like, how much has your chemistry already grown and how much fun do you guys see yourselves playing with one another? Yeah. It was good to get the, you know, we've been working in camp, but it was good to get the first one out of the way together. And, and uh, it was a ton of fun when, when you know, Kate got that pick. I was super fired up for him. You know, that was a big play for us and helped us win that game. So um, just communicating with each other, I think um, we've developed a lot during camp and uh, we were able to show that uh, on the field today. Definitely. I feel like, um, you know, as far as our chemistry goes, it's grown a ton, you know, throughout camp, throughout even shoot back to summer workouts. You know, me and Teddy, you know, have been side by side, you know, figure, figuring each other out and, you know, and uh, and trying to figure out each other's strengths and weaknesses and how we can even that out. And so, you know, and as far as the game goes, um, you know, that's our first time playing a game together. And, you know, in practice, you can't ever replicate actual game reps, you know, nothing's ever like it. And so I feel like me and Teddy handled that well, and we're excited to move forward and, you know, keep building and, and you know, be a, be a menaces on the field, you could say, for sure. Uh, Jim McGill, with Baron Sutter, uh, Teddy and Cade, you are playing in a position that has a, a pretty strong legacy of high-performing guys. You've got Evan Weaver, you've got Oladeo, you've got Sermon, you've got KEO, uh, and Cade, you last year obviously put up some big numbers. Do you feel the uh, impact of the, the legacy that you're stepping into and you, you're, you're playing under a defensive coordinator who is also your inside linebacker coach? Uh, do you feel like you have a lot of potential to really do something as a duo this year? Uh, Definitely. Um, you know, the, the legacy of linebackers here at Cal is um, tremendous. Um, you know, when, when we turn on old film, it's, you know, a bunch of really great players who have done a lot of great things for the program. So when we step on the field, we're just looking to replicate what they've done and build on the legacy that they've built. And, um, yeah, we just want to push forward as much as we can and, and, you know, try to live up to the, to the linebackers that have come before us. Yeah, I think, I mean, in the past, Cal linebackers have been some dudes for sure, you know, and so I think me and Teddy both, you know, want to be that guy, like that dude, you know, and so we're striving every day to be better and, and to keep going and um, shoot. Like the other day, we were at an alumni barbecue and we, were, we sat down with Dave Ortega, you know, one of the best linebackers ever come through with Cal, you know, and he's talking to us and, you know, we ever snap a picture and everything. So I really love, um, you know, how the alumni are still here, linebackers are still here. There's a long long history of linebackers and you know me and Teddy both just want to keep that you know keep that good history of linebackers going and you know as much as we can do every day to just keep going for sure. Joaquin Reese with the Daily Cal and Cal Radio. Is there any extra sense of security? Obviously you guys had your first game and, and did well in the box but you have Harris and Williams behind you guys. Does that add anything? Yeah definitely. I feel like Shoot, when you know that you got dudes behind you as well, like the whole team trusts each other, you know. So, you know, if it's third and short, and you know, me and Teddy are on a blitz, you know, we're trusting, we're trusting them, um, you know, the secondary to make a play. And so, I feel like, you know, throughout the whole team, you know, we've really created a bunch of trust throughout the whole team that you know we trust one another. You trust your brothers beside you, so um, we're just, you know, we're lucky to have them. You know, they help us out, we help them out, and so, um, but it is definitely reassuring to have them behind us for sure. Cody Henderson from the League Winners. This question's for Kate. 
Can you talk about getting that first interception? Man, it's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, just, you know, we've repped it. We've repped it in practice uh, over and over and over again. You know, just uh, went through my drop, you know, played off the quarterback. Next you know, the ball, the ball's coming. My eyes wide open, you know, and just uh, and snagged it. And then, and then uh, I wish I could have stayed in bounds and kept running, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. And then Teddy came around and, you know, we we're all juiced up. It was pretty dope. It was fun. Manuel Macedo from the Daily California. Teddy K, uh, Teddy, you finished more tackles today. Is this kind of, is there going to be like a little internal competition on you two so you can put up more stats? Yes, for sure. Yeah, I think right when we came here, we looked at the stat sheet, and I, you know, Teddy had nine, I had eight. Yeah. You know, so I mean, hey, this is good. I think I think we we'll have a little competition throughout the year. Who gets more? But uh, yeah, it's just fun. You know, the competition's great, and keep going. Yes, the last one here in the middle. Thomas Sutton, right, California. You guys all have one game under your belt. Big time environment next week. How you guys, How are you guys going to develop the communication between you two and the rest of the defense with a loud environment next week? Mm. Um. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on it in practice uh, to make sure you know we're ready for the environment. Um, you know, we have a we'll definitely get it ironed out, and yeah, I mean, I think that it, it'll you know we'll figure it out. Definitely, yeah. I feel like just uh, <laughs> yeah, just practice repetition. You know, having this game especially be able to you know work out the kinks a little bit. You know, be able to communicate and just make sure we're on the same page as much as we can. Um, and we're just, you know, we're excited to go down there and play, and it's going to be a good game. And but, you know, we'll have the practice going to be legit this week, and we're going to get after it.